So today I just wanted to take a quick look at the 2016 short film Imitation is Suicide. I definitely found this a very interesting film. So it is a silent film. You just have a classical music score playing throughout. But what's interesting to me here is the fact that everyone depicted in the film wears nothing but black. They're always tinkering with some electronic device, so they're always connected to something. But it also kind of seems to imply that they're not connected to themselves or the world around them. There's this young man who wanders about and he sticks out like a sore thumb. He has a red t-shirt and white jeans. I did not even know white denim was still a thing, but apparently it is. And he also just kind of walks about with his book. So aside from the fact that his wardrobe is very bright, the fact that he's disconnected also just makes him very stand out. His parents are also of the black wardrobe and the uh, technolo technology, um, technological devices. But, um, you know, it, it's kind of, it, it gives the impression that uh, he's very much an outsider, that it's a very lonely world for him because he doesn't really have anyone to relate to. So, obviously, um, in cutesy little form fashion, uh, he also one day meets a young lady wearing a red t-shirt and white jeans. So, you know, they, they gave us the cutesy little ending, you know, uh, you know, they basically just kind of had him wind up with someone, but what trumps me is the fact that the title of the film is Imitation is Suicide. So yes, uh, one should strive to be themselves, to be different and, you know, damn everyone else. But here are these two people, um, they're trying to imply that they are similar, that they belong together because they are of similar mindset. But I think they should have been dressed differently instead of the exact same attire, even though maybe perhaps they're just implying that um, they are the same kind, that they uh, are able to relate to one another, that they belong together. And um, yeah, I mean, there's always that tired ideology that there's someone out there for everyone. And, you know, maybe there is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought it was a rather um, entertaining, maybe just a little bit too much on the cutesy side for me. But um, yeah, definitely a fairly good short film. But um, yeah, that was pretty much my only complaint on this is I think that the, the male and the female um, brightly colored counterparts, I think they should have been dressed slightly different just considering the title of the film. There should have been maybe slightly more differentiation um, between the two. Maybe keep them in the same colors but change her wardrobe slightly, not have it exactly the same. But that is my two cents. Um, I really don't have any other thoughts other than that on this film, but I will talk to you guys later.